Thank you very much. Isn't that a lovely song? I had the pleasure of working with our next guest in the motion picture called Kings Go Forth. That girl's really a great talent. And here she is. Here she is. I know we had a guest. I know it as sure as my name is Frank Sinatra, I do. mother wanted me to be a school teacher. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to the show. For my first number, I'd like to, uh, hello, Frank. Uh, everybody, uh, for my first number, I'd like to, uh, I do a single. Matt. Yes. <laughs> What's the idea of the aisle bit? Well, I watch your show every week. I, I thought it was the only way to get up on the stage. How have you been, Frank? Well, I've been fine, honey, and you? You know that uh, we haven't seen each other since we made Kings Go Forth. What's new with you? Well, for one thing, I got married. You did, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't hear about that. When that happened? Well, it was in all the papers. Don't you read? Just the seed growers monthly. <laughs> and there wasn't a single word in that about your marriage. Oh, did you marry that good-looking young actor that used to hang around the set all the time? What was his name? Um, Tab Rock. Uh, Sal Rip? Bob. Bob. Now, how did an actor get a strange name like that, Bob? Well, better than Blubber. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> oh, I really know you're married to Bob Wagner. You can't pick up a fan magazine with these days without reading all about it. Yeah, they do get into your personal life, don't they? Sometimes it's a little ridiculous. I'll say. I saw a story in one the other day, and you know what the title of the story was? Is Jane Mansfield really a girl? <laughs> the guy who wrote that story was drinking. You know, I read one about you the other day. Now, I want to know, is it true that you're giving up show business to become a missionary among the Mau Maus? It's entered my mind from time to time, yes. You know, it said a few nasty things in there that I really resented, too. Nasty things about, like what? Well, they had the nerve to say that you're lazy and that you don't like to work and that you run around nightclubs and that you're seen with a different woman every night. That's balderdash. Sheer balderdash. And they also say that you've been known to bend an elbow on occasion. That's true. That's true, but it's purely for the, the purpose of exercise. After all, a man has got to keep physically fit, you know. Mm. You know, uh, somebody told me they read an article about the two of us. Really? What did it say? Well, it said that when we were working on Kings Go Forth, that uh, I fell in love with you. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> I never heard anything so silly. <laughs> What's so ridiculous about that? What's R.J. Wagner got that I haven't got? Well, there's so many things that attracted me to Bob. I mean, well, for one thing, he's an actor. I was an actor long before he was. He's a star. I was a star long before he was. He's young. I was young long before... Wait a minute. Hold it. You matter, Harry. You tricked me into that. Oh, Frank, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Mm. You know, there is one thing that you can do better than Bob. What that? Well, you can sing better than he can. Mm hmm Would you sing something for me? Flattery will get you nowhere. You've ruffled the Sinatra feathers. Oh. And besides, it's Pat Suzuki's turn. You're on, Ponytail. Now, let me tell you something about your husband. Oh. 